We only caught that because we did a static RPM check. So one of the things we don't have to open the cowling for is an RPM check. How many people are doing a static RPM check? Really, you should be doing this every flight. Static RPM check. The easiest time to do this is on takeoff. So if you go and add full power, as long as you're under about 10, 15 knots, really before the airspeed indicator is indicating, there's not enough airflow going over your propeller to change the RPM meaningfully. So you need to look at your type certificate data sheet or your STC if you've got an upgraded engine and prop and see what your minimum RPM and maximum RPM is. And you need to make sure you're achieving that at every takeoff. So that static RPM needs to be something that becomes part of your scan. And why that is important is if you have any problems with your engine, like an intake leak or maybe a blocked intake. Uh, so I've seen, for instance, uh, in the airbox, the carb heat actually broke and it was laying down in front of the intake. The engine was working. The mags check, good. You, you could do a full pre-flight on the airplane, engine run up, and it passed completely. But when you went full power, it just wasn't making static RPM. And we took the cowling off, we looked at that air box, and sure enough, a part had broken. And inside of the filter, so, so the filter didn't help in this case, there was a piece of metal hanging down there in front of the, the intake, and it was blocking airflow. So it was like choking your engine. It wasn't getting the air that it needed. And that was causing a problem. We only caught that because we did a static RPM check. So that's something you need to do every flight. 